Okay, we're going to do a little walk through the bottling line at a winery. So, here is the empty glass that's going to be loaded onto this conveyor over here. So we have guys that pick up two boxes at a time. The opening is at the bottom. And the bottles come out like that. So they're packed upside down, they lift up two boxes, push them together, and they fall up on this conveyor. So this conveyor is going to be full of empty bottles when the line is running, and it has to stay very full or it messes up all the machines. So this is a very important, very fast-paced job. Once the bottles move down the line, it comes to this, the first piece of our bottling line which is a rinser and lower. And what it does is it puts air or water, depending on what the client would like, into the bottle to evacuate any dust particles, maybe little buggies, anything along those lines. So it moves down this conveyor, goes around the entire machine, comes over here, this is the filler. It fills with exactly 750 milliliters of wine. So first it gets a shot of carbon dioxide, and then the wine is put into the bottle. And then, depending on whether you need a cork or a screw cap, the closure part of it is here. So this is corker, and this can run about 110 bottles per minute. So it's a pretty fast one. Same on the screw capper. Screw capper's kind of fun though. Starts out in a hopper over there. And it blows the screw cap all the way into the top of the machine. And then we'll exit the top from here. It's a really cool looking machine when it's running. Now the cork, we're going to go into this corner. Come in over here. Go up the little elevator. Get oriented. Go over the top. All the way over the top and back into each one of the jaws. The corker jaws compress the cork. So they make them skinnier. The plunger comes in and puts them through. They're exactly at the right level in the bottle. So then the bottles are moving down the line, moving down the line. And here we have a capsule applicator and a spinner. So this is the back side where they keep this machine full. Okay, this is the front side of the machine for the capsule applicator. The back side's got all the spare oil. Oil drop down onto this little tiny conveyor here and are applied over here. They actually get sucked into that little cup one at a time and it flips around and puts the capsule onto the bottle. Then we go into the spinner here, which are actually going to compress the material of the foil and make it fit tightly on top of the bottle. And we exit. This is some air knives here that help kind of uh, dry the bottle, which when we're doing pressure sensitive labeling, which means the glue is already on the label, this makes it stick a little bit better. This is where it's entering the labeler. Over there we have the front station label and the back station label. So it goes around and comes back up here. Coming out over here, this is a little pressure station to help press the label down on the bottle. It gets a date and time stamp here. It travels down the conveyor over here. Actual human bodies are looking at each body or each bottle over here. So you have somebody inspecting to make sure that the foil machine didn't miss the foil, um, that the wine is at the right level, the labels are straight, and then they're hand packed into the boxes that are here. the case sealer. This, this has the capability of doing top and bottom seal. Right now it's only sealing the top because the box is already complete. It sprays out little tiny lines of hot, wet glue, kind of a funny substance, and then put pressure on the top of the case in order to seal the case closed. Once it hits the end, 
spray and apply that identifies what the product is so they can always find what they're looking for in the warehouse. And then it's stacked onto these pallets. So there's two people that are removing the cases from here and stacking onto either one of these pallets. And then it's out, out of the winery.